Hello, it's finally here. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I've been working day and night, blood, sweat, and tears on this Let's Play that we're going to start today. I'm so excited. I have been waiting for this type of gameplay. This is my jam. I'm the type of simmer I either play as a family or I play as a criminal. There's no in between. So, you know, this pack fits the bill. Um, I'm very stoked and excited to get into it. I have spent a, the last, I have spent the last 24 hours preparing the family, building the house and preparing the storyline. So I'm so excited to get into The Sims 4 growing together today. It's going to be episode one of our gameplay. Um, <laughs> I'm, f I'm so excited to get into gameplay. Like my, I have like the brain rot from being in creative sim and build mode for 24 hours straight so i am totally ready to chill and get into some gameplay i'm so excited um we have a laundry list that we have to take care of first though um we are going to do a introduction to the pack in general we're going to give you a really quick world tour of where we're going to be having the story take place the new world san sequoia then we're also going to give you an introduction to the family as well as um, their create a sim like from the growing together pack and then i'm going to give you a house tour and then we're going to get into the gameplay so we're going to do the laundry list first then we get into the fun gameplay portion of this episode of growing together and then obviously from here on out, we'll just be doing gameplay every episode, but we have to do the laundry list first, so then you can have a little bit of a background of what this is going to be all about. And of course, of course, my dog decides this is the perfect time to play with my squeaky toy. So if you hear squeaking, it's him. That menace. It's him. Okay, um... I do apologize for him. Okay, um, let me just... Oh, this has been happening. And of course, right now, of course, of course, I'm dropping frames like crazy right now. So that's unfortunate, but we must, we must go on. Hopefully we don't crash a gazillion times. Um... If that's the case, I'll have to like restart and hope for the best. Um, but it, it does keep dropping and we haven't even played anything yet. So that's concerning. That's quite concerning. I don't want to start if it's going to be bad because I've been wait. I put too much work into this for this to happen. <laughs> Manny, stop. Okay. <clears throat> I introduce to you San Sequoia. Inspired by San Francisco, this is the new world that comes with Get Together. This is where our main story is going to take place in this world. You can see how it is kind of like San Francisco. It's in like a bay, lots of boats and ships and marine life. And then, of course, a big bridge, kind of like the Golden Gate. So this does resemble San Francisco. Now, when I heard a family pack was coming... A San Francisco style world wasn't exactly my idea of a family world so I was quite surprised they took it in this direction. I thought we would get kind of like a suburban kind of town but this is still really cute. We don't have another world like it so I do like it. I just don't know if it was the right fit for this gameplay but we're gonna make it work as best as we can. Um, basically San Sequoia began as a small fishing town. It then became a hub of the fishing and canning industry due to the influence of local fishermen turned entrepreneur. Bayana Robles, the Robles family, is still very much entrenched in the area, even as it has expanded over time thanks to Gilbert Gilberts. Today, San Sequoia is home to cozy streets, a beautiful park with gardens, and a quiet suburban neighborhood. It's a perfect place to raise a family. So that's a little bit of the history if you're into the Sims lore. 
I, I know sometimes I get into the lore, okay? Um, so basically, the Robles family has been around for a really long time. They live right up here in the corner. Um, they are originals to the area, and they also are related to this family across the way, the Robles Ruano family. Um, I believe one of them is like the child to the family over there, so they're like related. Something like that. I don't really know. Um, there's also... Um, there's also this family down here, the Michelson family. They're a little bit more of a family family around this area. We also have the Luna Sullivan family, which looks like a single mom and maybe like grandma and her daughter. So like a three generation type home. And then I did place another household over here, which we'll get into. This is the Gatsby household. It is just one Sim. His name is Parker and we will get into him later, but I kind of wanted to introduce our family first. Um, and I did create another Sim that actually doesn't live in Santa Coya, but somewhere else, which we will get into that as well. It's a part of the storyline, a part of the process. Um, I like to make very dynamic stories, so if it's hard to follow along with, you'll get it eventually. Um, <laughs> anyways, we have three areas to San Sequoia. We have the Anchor Point Wharf, which kind of resembles Fisherman's Wharf in San Francisco, if you've ever been there. Um, once the center of a bustling... Uh, it was once the center of a bustling fishing and canning industry. Anchor Point Wharf is known now as a vibrant area downtown featuring a movie theater, parklets, and more. There's plenty to keep all ages entertained. So it's kind of like Fisherman's Wharf in San Francisco. Used to be like, you know, a big sh center for ships and fishing, which it still kind of is. But also it is more of a touristy area, downtown area with fun stuff to do. Um... There is a community lot. The Anchor Point Library is here. Um, really nice to have a library in case we want to go study there or go do something there. Then there's also a rental, Anchor Point Abode, which was really nice to see that there are rentals available. I really like the idea of that. Um, this is the Gilbert Gardens area. Gilbert Gardens Gorgeous Park was once owned by Gilbert Gilbert, a land developer who helped establish the area. Now it's the perfect local for family trips to the gardens, where amongst other activities, Sims can take a walk on one of the three scenic lake walking paths or visit the community splash pad play area. Whalebert is hoping to see you soon. Honestly, Whalebert is a bit creepy. I'm not going to lie. I saw that thing in build mode and I almost got jump scared. So someday when we go to the splash pad, I might be terrified. Whalebert does kind of give me the creeps. Anyways, so this is kind of like a little family area. It also is kind of a more downtown area, um, just like the wharf area is. So both areas are pretty busy. Hi, Ian. Hello. So over here, we do have what's called a recreation center. It is celebration center. And basically, it's like a community center that has all kinds of activities in it, such as working out, stuff for the kids, computers, chess tables, just like anything to up your skills. It's an area that you can go and work on really any skill that you want to for any age level, which I think is a great addition for family gameplay. I've been wanting a lot like this for a while now. I actually used to build community centers for my Sims, and it's nice that I actually have the option to make it a recreational center now, so I'm excited for that addition in the game. Um... I know, my stream is so laggy right now. Is it, Ian, is it lagging really bad for you? I, I could restart. Ugh, so annoying. On my end, it says it's really laggy. Maybe it's delayed right now. I'm going to refresh. Hold on. Oh, it says it's not delayed. Hmm. A little. It's a little laggy. Hmm. Okay. I don't want it to be laggy. I've worked too hard on this, on preparing for this gameplay for it to be laggy. Okay, anyways. 
the last area is called Hopewell Hills, and this is actually where our family is going to be living. Hopewell Hills is a cozy spot away from the hustle and bustle of town, the perfect place for anyone who wants, well, space. If the suburbs are your idea of paradise, you've found it here in this quiet neighborhood. So it kind of is away from town and nice and quiet, which I really like for raising a family. This pack's all about family, so I kind of like the idea of living kind of out of town a bit. Um, that's just how I was raised, so maybe that's why I think that way. Um, I really overall love this world. It's beautiful. A lot of the water is not usable, which is such a, such a bummer. So that's one downside to this world, but overall very pretty. I like this area down here the best for family gameplay, but I think it'll still be fun to be able to go up here into town when we want to do something fun. So yeah, and then I also really like the sims that they have in the pack. The little families around the town are nice. Um, yeah, so I'm excited for that. I think that'll be really um, good for gameplay. Um, so we went over the world. Let's go introduce ourselves to the family next. I'm so excited. I spent, I spent hours in create a sim. Oh my god. I spent so much time on this. So I, I hope it, it goes well. <laughs> okay. Um, let me have her pick up this baby real quick. Um, we need him, we need him in the family picture here. Okay. L look up, sweetheart. Okay, here we go. So this is our family. We'll get into the house. There's just so much to do on our laundry list, you guys. Oh my god, I feel stressed. Um, basically, this right here is our main girl. She is our, our main girl that we're going to be following throughout this Let's Play of Growing Together. She is... Whoops. <laughs> Hold on. I haven't played Sims in a while, so if my camera angles are a little off, <laughs> I'm working on it. I haven't played in a long time. Okay, here she is. This is Mercedes Eckert. She is the main girl of this Let's Play who we're going to be centering it around. The rest are just extras. She is the main character, okay? So everyone, keep your eyes on Mercedes, okay? This is Mercedes. She's a young adult. She actually really just graduated high school and just started her young adulthood. So she's just kind of getting a start on her life. Um, her adulthood has kind of started in a unique way as she got pregnant in high school as a teenager with her son Darius. Isn't he so freaking cute? Oh my gosh, the gummy smile. Oh my gosh, so cute. I love him and his glasses. I love everything about him. Um, so she got pregnant in high school with Darius with her high school sweetheart, Derek, which he is in the game. He just does not live with us. We will introduce him later. So she got pregnant with Darius and then she ended up Instead of going to college like she had planned, she is staying at home and starting her artist career without a college degree. So she's going to start doing freelance artwork instead of doing an actual art career because she has to be at home to take care of her son. So she's going to pick up gigs whenever she can. But she is an amazing artist. She loves to paint. Um, and she loves to write and pretty much anything to do with art is up her alley. She's just very artsy. Um, and she's just a very positive person. Um, her son Darius, on the other hand, he's an infant and infants are new to the game. Um, they launched right before Growing Together came out. I have not personally actually gotten to play with infants as much. So this is kind of going to be a first for me. I'm a little, a little terrified as they say, um, Darius is a wiggly little thing. Um, we gave him the wiggly trait. I'm quite nervous for that. Um, my idea, Darius, he has a little bit of an ADHD issue. Um, he's a very wiggly, energetic boy. Um, 
he's going to be an interesting one to raise. Even as he gets into his childhood um, and toddlerhood, I just have a feeling he's going to be full of energy and full of life. Um, so we are going to have our hands full with him. But he is super sweet, super cute little guy. So that's Mercedes and Darius. We are going to be following these two through the whole Let's Play. So eventually, if they are to move out of her dad's house, we are going to bring Darius with us. And these two are going to be who we're centered around in this gameplay. Now, there are some side characters. This is her dad, Cyrus Eckert. Cyrus is native to San Sequoia. He's been around for a while. He has been a fisherman in the area for many years. He still is a fisherman. He doesn't want to retire. He's been really stubborn about retiring. So hopefully we can have him retire soon and have him just live a relaxing rest of his life. But he is just not loving the idea of retiring because he loves what he does. Um, he does. He works in the fishing and canning industry for San Sequoia. So he is a fisherman and he actually works the night shift um, so he goes fishing at night and does deep sea fishing um, he is we'll get into the family dynamics when we go into create a sim and I'll show you their family dynamics but basically he is a little bit disappointed in his daughter for getting pregnant in high school and having Darius um, he is very strict about how she raises Darius and he has a strict relationship with him um, but yeah, her and her dad are having a, a difficult time with their relationship, basically, um, building it back up after that happened in high school. Um, you may ask, where is their mother? Um, we're just going to say their mother had passed away when the girls were younger. So their dad has been raising them as a single dad. And then over here, oh my god, this is Sasha Eckert. This is... Mercedes's sassy little sister. I mean, she's not like sassy, but she's definitely got some mood swings going. She's in high school, lots of hormones flying in the air. Um, Sasha, on the other hand, has always been really supportive of Mercedes and having Darius at a young age. She loves her nephew. Um, her and her nephew are kind of um, just very close and supportive. Um, so she loves being an auntie. She is a little bit socially awkward. She's very much into music. She loves to sing, write songs, play the piano and guitar. She's just kind of a musical girl. Um, hoping to write her own song someday. Maybe be a star. I don't know. Maybe. So... That is Sasha. It's going to be fun for Darius to have an aunt, even if Sasha doesn't always stay with us. Um, I'm just happy that she will be able to come visit us and we'll have another distant relative, which will be really nice. But for now, we all live in the same house. So for now, we will be playing with Sasha and Cyrus, the dad, um, as long as we live here. Um, because, you know, because she was pregnant in high school, she didn't end up going to college. She can't really afford to live on her own yet, so she's going to stay at home for a while. Until she maybe were to meet somebody. Anyways. <laughs> um, anywho, nobody heard that. I'm going to turn off headline effects. Headline effects off. Um, hold on. I'm going to check my stream really quick. I just... I hate the thought of it being laggy. Just hold on. Give me one minute. I'm going to listen to it. And then if it needs adjusting, I'm going to change my bit rate. Hold on, I'm listening. 
La 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 la. Okay. I think it's good. Is my stream better? I'm gonna hold on. I'm gonna change a couple settings. Okay, I hope that's better. I changed my bitrate, so hopefully that helps. I don't know why it's like, I, I mean, I know why it's laggy. I chose to stream at a really stupid time of the day when my sister's home and she's, you know, got Netflix open. She's got FaceTime open. She's got her video games open. So uh, it just sucks because, like, I share my internet with her because I'm a nice person. But it makes everything lag for me. Anyways... Ahem. We're going to go into create a sim and I'm going to kind of show you them in create a sim as well as a little bit more about their personalities and then we're going to get into a house tour and then I'll maybe introduce you to a couple more side characters then we're off into gameplay. Um, so let me just um, 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 full edit mode. It seems better. Okay I changed my bit rate so I, I hope that helps. Oh, whoops. Um, modifying cast. Okay. We're going to go look at create a sim. I'm going to show you close up a little bit more about them. So we are in create a sim. I used as much get together as I could withstand, which honestly, this pack has really good create a sim items. So I wasn't too mad about it, but I did use some custom content obviously because it just does make the game better in my opinion um so this is mercedes we'll start with her since she's kind of our main girl i gave her this top which is from get together um and then yeah i think that's the only thing she's wearing that's from get together we did get these new birthmarks and i thought this was really cute it's kind of in like the shape of a heart so super cute we also got some new body marks like these um moles um, super cute. It just kind of gives them more detail. So I actually gave her four outfits because I'm a little obsessed with clothes in this game. Um, this yellow outfit is super cute. Most of it is from growing together. I believe the top and the bottom is. So basically the whole outfit. That one's super cute. This outfit is also basically from growing together. I believe both the top and the bottoms are from growing together as well. Um, and then this outfit is mostly for when she's painting or doing a project of some sort. So she has a little outfit she can wear um, that she can get, you know, some paint on if she needs to. So those are her everyday outfits. This is her formal wear. This dress is from Growing Together as well. Pretty cool. Um, this is her fitness. It is not from Growing Together. It's from the fitness stuff pack. This is also from Growing Together, this little nightgown. I thought that was super cute. I think you can also wear this as a dress, but I personally think it looks better as a nightgown, so that's what I used it as. Um, and then her party wear. Her party wear is from High School Years, which because I didn't do a High School Years Let's Play, we're going to be focusing on High School Years as well during this gameplay, so I used some of that clothes as well in Create a Sim. This is her swimwear. It is custom content. This is her hot weather outfit. I believe the top is from Growing Together. This is her cold weather. Um, it is not from Growing Together, but it is from... It's from Discover University. <laughs> I haven't played in a while, so I, I honestly forgot what everything's from. So I'm going to have to check every time. Um, let's go to Darius. This is Darius. He's so cute. Oh, wait. Let's actually... Yeah, let's go through clothes first. All right. This is Darius. This is his outfit. It is base game. There's not a whole lot of infant options because they just came out. So we either have base game or growing together. And there's not like a whole lot. So I kind of did the best I can until I can get custom content. And then obviously I'll use some more custom content once some comes out. This little outfit is so cute. This one is from Base Game. 
And then this one's also from the base game. Super cute. It's like a little teddy bear. Those are his everyday outfits. Um, this is his formal wear. There wasn't a whole lot of options for formal wear, so this is what he's got. This is sleepwear. This one is from Growing Together. Isn't that so cute? The little panda bears. That's adorable. I also gave him this one for sleepwear. It is some little elephants. This one's from Growing Together as well. The party wear is from Growing Together. And then his hot, wa uh, hot water. His hot water. <laughs> His hot weather wear is from Growing Together. It's like a little storm cloud. That's so freaking cute. Um, his cold weather gear is from the base game, which is really freaking cute. Um, that's him. That's Darius. I did give him a birthmark on his neck. You can see a little bit better in Creative Sim. Apparently, these can fade over time. So I'm interested to see if his birthmark will fade. So, you know, we'll, we'll keep an eye on that for sure. Um, he was born premature. So he did some have some vision issues. So he is a glasses wearer probably for life. We'll see when he gets older how we're feeling. This is Cyrus. This is Mr. Grandpa or Dad, whoever we're referring to. This is his everyday outfit. Um, the top is from Growing Together. This is his second everyday outfit. This is from Growing Together as well. This is his third everyday outfit. This is more of his fisherman look if he's going fishing. So the top is from Growing Together as well. I tried to use as much as I could. Um, formal wear is from Growing Together. The top is. His athletic wear, I believe, is also from Growing Together. Yeah, it is. The whole track suit is from Growing Together. His sleep wear is from Cottage Living. So it, I thought it kind of fit his personality. His party wear, I believe the top and the bottom is from Growing Together. His swimwear is custom content, and you can see he's actually a diabetic, so he has his little Dexcom right here, his little glucose monitor. This is his hot weather wear. I believe the top is from Growing Together. This is his cold weather, and I believe it is, it's from Seasons, so <laughs> there wasn't a whole lot of options from Growing Together. So that's him. And then we have Sasha. She's a little bit more feisty with her outfit choices. Like I said, I'm kind of combining high school years with growing together since I didn't really get to play with high school years a whole lot. So I used a lot of high school years on Sasha. So this is her everyday outfit. Super cute. I believe the top and the bottom are from high school years, I think. And then the shoes are custom content. The hair is from Growing Together. Super cute hair. Um, this is her second everyday outfit. I don't remember entirely where all this is from. I don't think it's Growing Together, though. This is her third outfit. I don't think any of this is Growing Together either, but I think some of it's from high school years. This is her formal wear, which I believe is from high school years. Her athletic wear, I believe, is also from high school years. You'll start to notice a trend. Her sleep wear is custom content. Her party wear is mainly high school years, I believe. Her swimwear is custom content. Oh. Her hot weather is mainly high school years as well. <laughs> and her cold weather is from Snowy Escape. So th that's um that's their create a sim clothing items and outfits. So let's talk about their personalities really quick and then we'll go get into gameplay. I know that's like the big big thing that I'm excited for. 
Um, for Mercedes, she has the big, happy family aspiration. She just wants to have a really big family someday. I know right now she only has her one son, but she hopes to eventually grow her family. She wants Darius to have siblings. Um, she is family orientated. She's an art lover and she is creative, which makes sense because she's a freelance artist. Um, her, her goal was to go to college, but since she had a baby, um, she did hold off on going to college and she's just going to do freelance artwork. Um, she has lots of likes and dislikes. If you would like to see all of them, this is them. It'll make for some interesting conversation. But the main points is she loves anything really art related. She does love a lot of different types of music. She's into fashion. Um, some of her dislikes is she doesn't really like fishing, even though her dad does. That's kind of why they kind of don't really have a lot in common. She doesn't like anyone that is ambitionless that doesn't have goals for themselves because she has a lot of goals for herself. Um, so that's a little bit about her. With growing together, we have family dynamics. This is new with the pack. So this will create for some interesting gameplay. My dynamics are gone. Hold on one second. I rem I remember what they were. Okay. <laughs> My dynamics had disappeared. I hope that's not a bug. So with Darius, she's very close to him. She is his main caregiver and she really loves her son. She does everything for him. Um, with her father, Cyrus, they have a little bit of a difficult relationship because he is a little bit disappointed that she did get pregnant in high school. So they still have a little bit of a difficult dynamic. Hopefully they can overcome that. With Sasha, her and her sister are jokesters. They've always been like best friends, very close. So that's their dynamics. Um, as for Darius, once again, they're gone. That's kind of annoying. I had strict and then I had supportive for her. Okay. Darius is a wiggly infant like I mentioned before. Now I have heard that wiggly infants are the hardest ones to take care of. So I am a little bit nervous but also I'm excited because I think it'll be really fun to work with to a certain extent. And I just I just kind of wanted him to be a little wiggly guy. You know a little bit of ADHD. Just really energetic. Um, a little bit of <laughs> ADHD. Him and his mom are close, like we mentioned. Now, his relationship with Grandpa, Mr. Cyrus, um, very strict. Cyrus is very strict about Darius. Um, he, you know, was a little bit disappointed that his daughter got pregnant in high school, but now he wants her to raise him very strict. With Sasha, his aunt, his aunt is very supportive of him, and she really loves her nephew. So that's good. Um, then we'll get to him. Um... Cool. All right. For Cyrus, his aspiration is successful lineage. He just wants his family to be successful and happy in whatever they do. He is a loyal sim. He's very loyal to his two daughters. He'll always be them there for them, even if sometimes they may mess up. He loves the outdoors and he is family orientated as well. So even though sometimes he can be strict, he makes those decisions because he cares about his family. These are his likes and dislikes. M mainly he likes anything outdoors. He likes old school music. Some of his dislikes, he doesn't really like the heavy metal music. He doesn't like potty humor. Basically anyone that isn't behaving well. And then we've got Sasha. Let me make sure her, her should all be, yep, hers are all good. Actually, we didn't talk about. So basically, Cyrus does have a difficult relationship with Mercedes, like we mentioned, and he is strict with Darius. His relationship with Sasha is he's very permissive. So he kind of honestly lets her do her own thing um, because he is getting older. He's actually an elder. So he is a little bit of an older dad for a high schooler. So he kind of lets her do her thing compared to how he raised Mercedes. He's a little bit more permissive with his younger daughter. Um, and then we have Sasha. I really like Sasha. I, 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 
after I made Mercedes first and then I made Sasha and I'm like, oh my God, maybe I want to play and have Sasha be the main character here. But I decided like since it's growing together, we want to start with someone that already has like maybe a child. So we're going with Mercedes, but we'll definitely play with Sasha until maybe we move on or move out. Um, Sasha's aspiration, she's a musical genius. She loves music. She is a bit socially awkward and she's a music lover. She really wants to write music um, and record her music and even perform maybe someday. She just has to get over her social fears. Um, these are her likes and dislikes. <laughs> Lots of stuff to do with music is what she likes. She also loves a lot of fashion and just like being all about what she's interested in. Her dislikes are anything to do really with social, like gossiping. She doesn't really like to argue with anyone um, or even any small talk makes her nervous. So she's got to get over her um, socially awkward phase. Um, but I think with her pursuing music, maybe it'll actually help her in the long run. Um, we already mentioned all of her family dynamics earlier when we talked about the other Sims, but this is her family dynamics. So that is create a sim. We're done there. Like I said, a long laundry list before we even do gameplay, which I am excited for. We will dab dabble in some gameplay today. Oh, my, my dog looks like a little crescent roll. These characters have a lot of lore. I know. I love the lore. Dude. If you play The Sims and you don't have lore for them, then what's the point? Like, I love making, like, really interesting stories about my Sims. It makes it more fun for me. And I even get invested. I'm like, oh my god, what's gonna happen next? Um, so, like I mentioned, there's a couple more side characters that will start to show up. I'm not gonna introduce them yet. I am going to move my camera so you can see. I always forget when I play The Sims, we got to move up here. Oh, hi. There we are. Okay. So there is one. There's a couple side characters that will get introduced later. But one of them is Derek Brown. This is Derek right here. So Derek is Mercedes's high school sweetheart and he is the father of Darius so he will still be around to come and visit his son obviously and we might even take our son on outings with his dad for visitation rights but ultimately Derek decided to move out of San Sequoia and he moved to Brightchester because he actually decided he wanted to go to college um, which honestly made Mercedes really mad because her goal in life was to go to college and go to art school. And when they got pregnant, she decided to stay at home with her dad and just kind of do her startup art business. But she was kind of ticked off that Derek didn't stay behind with her and he still went forward and went to college without her. So she's just a little bit torn. Um, they still kind of, you know, are in love as you can see down here in their relationship, um, she's trying to cut ties with him, but she's having a hard time cutting ties with him. It might take her meeting someone else to cut ties. <laughs> um, so pretty much she doesn't know if she wants to be with him anymore. She's kind of torn because he is the father of her child, but she doesn't know if she wants to be with him or not. She is just kind of honestly jealous that he still gets to go pursue his dreams, but she has to stay behind and raise their son kind of by herself. So that's Derek. Um, yeah, so maybe she'll meet someone else that is also into art. <laughs> Anyways, I did place another single guy in town. His name is Parker Gatsby. She hasn't met him yet. Um, they went to high school together, but she wasn't really close with him. He didn't really hang out with her type of crowd. Um, but I'm hoping maybe they run into each other so she can see what it's like to maybe be friends with someone that is of similar interest to her. Maybe it'll help her get over Derek. I don't know. Maybe Parker isn't the one for her either. We're going to have to find out. Okay? I don't know as much as you know. <laughs> This is such a cute shot. Oh my god, the infants are so cute. They're literally like little babies. They're adorable. Okay, house tour. <laughs> 
this is the last thing we're going to do before we start playing. Okay, I'm going to give you a house tour. I built this house. Yes, I did. Yes, sir. This house is absolutely beautiful. I love this house. I'm so excited to play in it. This is Mercedes's dad, Cyrus's house. This is their childhood home. So she's still living in her childhood home. Of course, she plans to move out someday. But for now, it's safe, it's quiet, and it's a good place to raise her son until she maybe meets someone. Okay? It is right by the harbor over here, close to her dad's work. Um, it has a beautiful view of the bridge. Look at how beautiful the scenery is. It is truly stunning. It really is. I love this world. There's definitely some downsides to it, but overall I'm excited to play in San Sequoia. So we're going to get into our house. Um, a lot of this is from growing together. I'm not going to blab about what every piece is from but the main things I used from growing together were the windows the siding and the stone on the house um, and then as well as some things outside over here which we will get to so we're gonna go into the house when you walk up to the front door steps you are greeted with an orange tree because her dad loves to garden and this is our friend. We need to give him a name. He oversees our house. Um, he watches for any criminal activity and any bad guys or any, I don't know, serial killers. So we'll have to give him a name. Um, let me know what we should name him. <laughs> um, this is our entryway. I went for coastal vibes. Lots of blues and light woods and pale greens. I really like the coastal vibes because we live in the bay, basically. It's the Gorton's Fisherman. It is. It is. We need to name him, though. This is a whole TV show. I know. I'm trying to make this a TV show. That's why it says episode one in the title. Like, this is a TV show, guys. Okay? We're, we're, we're going to be doing some TMZ here and MTV, okay? Um, we got a little coat rack in the entryway. We got a little thing to hang our keys. This picture frame came with growing together. Um, we will fill it in as we go. We'll take pictures of our family, maybe at certain events, um, to fill it in. So we have some family memories. Um, just a really cute little entryway. Let's go to our left first. To our left is the kitchen. I made it very blue, as you can see. Um, unfortunately, in growing together, they didn't have cabinets or counters, which I was so disappointed. So I ended up using cottage living ones. I felt like those fit the bill. Um, but the stove, the stove hood, and the fridge are from growing together. So those are kind of the two main pieces in here that I wanted to highlight. Super cute kitchen, very blue. I just envision Mercedes made this when she was like a little girl. It was one of her first painting pieces. She gave it to her dad. Oh, so cute. And he kept it there. Oh, so cute. This is our little dining table. The table and the curtains are from Growing Together. Super cute. And then we have a little high chair because infants can use high chairs. So that's really nice. This is the door to get outside. Let's go take a little side yard tour. It is not a backyard. It's a side yard. Um, very cool. MTV, this is about to become a Teen Mom sequel. Well, Addisick, you missed it, but we are following the life of a teen mom. She still lives at home and she's starting to raise her baby. Um, we have the new growing together picnic table and I put a little picnic basket I thought it'd be cute if they had little picnics outside that'd be cute and then a little grill so you know Cyrus can grill um these plants are also from growing together and then down here is just a little campfire area this little what do you call it like what what's the thing that goes over the little awning uh, awning that's from growing together. And then over here is just an area for Cyrus to do his gardening because he loves to garden. Over here is a swing set from when the girls were little. Some monkey bars and a swing set. So maybe when Darius gets a little bit older, he can come over and play on it. Um, but yeah, this is their swing set and monkey bars from when they were younger. This is from growing together, this little swing set. 
Very cool. All right, we're going to go back inside. This house took me so long, you guys, and it's not even that big of a house. <laughs> I spent so much time decorating it. I, I placed each item very carefully. I even put freaking light switches. That's how detailed I was. I did not forget a single light switch. So we have the stairs. We will go up them later. But over here is just a main level bathroom. Um, it features some growing together stuff. So this shower tub combination is from growing together. I actually use it in every bathroom of the house because I was so excited to have a new bath tub shower combination. Um, the lights are from growing together and the sink is from growing together. Um, yeah, otherwise a lot of it is just from other packs, but just a main level bathroom. Nothing real special. Um, to our right, you can see Cyrus is already turning on the news. He definitely watches um, CNN. Um, he does not watch Fox News. He is not that type of guy. Um, to our right is the living room. Very coastal vibes. I love it. Um, we will get a pet fish, so you'll have to come up with names for me to name our pet fish. But yes, there will be a fish here. Um, another empty frame that we can put pictures in of our family. This is a piano, um, from growing together, um, for Sasha to start playing. Um, these pictures are from growing together. I thought they were super cool. Very ethnic. I really liked that. Um, over here, a lot of this is from growing together. I'm not going to name every item, but the main pieces of furniture are from growing together and I centered the living room around those pieces. So this is the living room area. Very cute. You can see this is a very San Francisco based pack. It has the cable cars, a taxi and some skyscrapers. Very cool. Over here is this beautiful arch. This is from growing together and this is kind of the open office area. Um, Cyrus's office. A fish! Yeah, you'll have to come up with names. We're going to buy a fish. That's going to be our, our first pet. We're going to start small in the department of pets because we got a baby to take care of and I can't take care of a bunch of pets. Um, this is his desk area. So Cyrus does his work over here. Now you can see it's been a little bit invaded. A little bit invaded by baby stuff. Um... Honestly, like he's starting to come around, but he's still a little like, oh my God, you really had to get pregnant as a teenager. But he has allowed um, some baby stuff in his office. So you can see some toys. Sometimes he watches Darius while he's working. Um, yeah, a lot of this is from growing together. Um, so I'm not going to name all of it, but this is super cute. I'm excited to use this. It's like a little bit of a, a little play mat for Darius. This is one of his cribs. This one's more like a pack and play type style, like the ones that fold up and fold down. Um, that's not like his real crib, but just if he's taking a nap when his grandpa's, you know, maybe watching him. This toy box is from Growing Together. Super cute. So that's a little front office area invasion yeah he's starting to be invaded by the babies in here is cyrus's room now cyrus gave the master bedroom and pretty much the whole upstairs to his two daughters since he's a single dad he's like you know what you two girls have your fun up there you're like best friends he actually took the smaller room for himself which is really nice of him um but still a super nice cozy room for him um I really like all of the blues. Um, he loves San Sequoia. He's lived here his whole life. So he just really likes to have the decor for San Sequoia. This is from Growing Together. I really like this piece. It's super cute. Um, and then this is another new um, concept that came with Growing Together. This is a keepsake box. So Cyrus can fill this with items that he wants to pass down to somebody. And then before he passes away, we're going to have Cyrus give the keepsake box to somebody, whether it be Mercedes or Sasha, whoever he's closest with probably at the time is going to get this keepsake box with some of his favorite items in it. So we're going to have to decide what we want to put in that box. Um, and then over here is just, you know, his TV, his wardrobe. A lot of this is from growing together. And then we have the upstairs, the last part of the house. Oh my God, I know this has been quite the laundry list we had to take care of before we play, but bear, bear with me. We're almost there. Okay. 
We're going to go up the stairs. We're going to go up to the girls' area. This is just a little bit of a hallway when you get at the top of the stairs. Some nice artwork. This is super cute. This is from Growing Together. It's a little owl. It's so cute. I love that. So I put that there. Just like a little area. This is just the boring old laundry room. Super boring. Just just a laundry room and the vacuum. You got to have a vacuum. You don't want dust bunnies everywhere. Um, yep, we have all of that good stuff. <laughs> Over here is Mercedes's room. So as you can see, a lot of baby stuff. It's kind of been taken over and invaded by Darius because when you have a baby, you got to have stuff for him. So she kind of had to transform her room a little bit. So I love this room. I just feel like it screams artist because she is an artist. Lots of pops of color. I just love it. Very retro. But also, I feel like it still has that coastal feel. I really love it. Um, this new bed is from Growing Together. Um, and then also, a lot of this is from Growing Together as well. We have Darius's little area, a little mat he can lay on, some toys for when he learns how to sit up on his own. He still can't sit up on his own yet. This is his actual crib, so where he'll actually be sleeping. Very nice, um, right next to her. And then this is the diaper station. I'm so excited. It even has like a diaper genie, which is super cute. Um, if you don't have the diaper genie, apparently when you change the diaper, the diapers just end up on the floor. So I'm like, yo, I gotta have a diaper genie. That's kind of gross. So diaper station, a changing table, whatever you want to call it. Her easel, because she is an artist, of course. Um... And yeah, just a lot of cute little things. Her little nightstand. This is how my nightstand looks. Like a water bottle, a candle, a journal. Just tons of crap. This picture frame is also from Growing Together. We're going to fill it with pictures. Super cute. I love her room a lot. To the left, this is Mercedes's bathroom. It's kind of like the top level bathroom, but... Because we don't have anyone else that really lives here, this is pretty much her own bathroom. Um, her bathroom is just a really simple black and white bathroom since it's kind of the main bathroom on this level. Um, it's kind of more of the simple one. Just really black and white. The showers from Growing Together, it's the same one as downstairs. Um, super simple. Just just a bathroom. Nothing crazy. I, I know. Nothing crazy. Just ho try to calm yourself down. This is the last area of the house. This is Sasha's room. Her room is fabulous. It features a lot of music-related things. It features a lot of high school year things and even some growing together stuff. This is her little sanctuary. I, I'm in love with this room. Like, I would have loved to have this room when I was in high school. This would have been perfect. Um, lots of pastel colors. She loves pastels. Um, this bed is from high school years. The little canopy is from high school years. This is her little music corner. She plays the guitar and the piano. So that's really cool. Um, this picture frame is from Growing Together. So we're going to fill it in with pictures. Um, the curtains are from Growing Together. And this little area is so cute. I just envision her sitting and reading magazines and looking out at the beautiful bay. She definitely has the best view in the whole house. So she's a lucky girl. And then over here, um, this bookshelf is also from Growing Together. Um, and then a lot of it is from other packs. Super cute little CDs on her door. Um, cute little mirror. I just feel like this is her personality. She likes to spend a lot of time in her room. Um, she is a little bit more of an introvert compared to her sister. This is her own personal bathroom. She actually has the master bedroom. Lucky her. Um... In here is her bathroom. They redid it to make it pink. Um, it's very pink. Um, the wall and the floor is from Growing Together. So I wanted to feature that. The shower is also from Growing Together. Just like the other two. It's the same one. But yeah, super cute little bathroom. It has a nice view. Like imagine waking up, brushing your teeth, and you see the Golden Gate Bridge outside your window. That's pretty sick. I'm not going to lie. Um, just very cute. Now, that completes the tour of the house. Um, I, I love this house. I feel like I'm going to miss it when Mercedes eventually moves out. Or maybe she won't ever move out. I don't know. But I will miss this house. I put in a lot of effort. So, I hope you guys enjoy uh, while we're playing this house. Um, 
like I said, Mercedes is in the freelance art career, and then Cyrus is in the fishing career. Um, I haven't gotten Sasha a job yet. Um, she's just kind of a high school student. I don't think we're going to make her work. I just want her to mainly focus on maybe getting better at music and then maybe going and playing in karaoke clubs, playing for tips, stuff like that. I think that would suit her fancy. Um, yeah. Anyways, um, also... I know so many things. I am playing in the Simlessy save file. I did make a new save file with all of her builds. I love Simlessy. I'm a huge fan of her builds. So when we go travel to other worlds, you'll see some of her builds. I just wanted to make sure that you all know this is the Simlessy save file. So you know that I didn't build all of this. I did build this house though. I'm taking credit for this one. Okay. All right, I don't even know where to start the gameplay. I think we're just going to start with some simple family gameplay at home today. Um, we are in the summer right now, so it's a perfect time for us to plant, you know, get our garden going, doing that kind of stuff. So we are in day seven of summer. I love summertime, so I wanted to start in the summer. Um, yeah, yeah. You can see there are also milestones. So we're going to be working a lot on milestones. Every age has milestones. So with Darius especially, it's very important that we complete his milestones so he can start sitting up. He can start scooting, crawling, walking. So it's important that we spend lots of time with him. Um, so let's let's get into the gameplay. I'm super nervous. I don't know why. It's because I haven't played The Sims in a while. And I just, I don't know. It's, it's, it's just interesting to me. All right. So I think actually what we'll do is what we'll have Cyrus maybe start his garden. I think that would be really a good thing to do since it's summertime. Let's have him maybe plant hmm, maybe some vegetables. Maybe some fruits. I think that would be kind of some fun stuff to have. Some veg and some fruits. Uh, let's open the seed packets. Okay. Let's open them up. Okay. I think we should do carrots. That would be a good one for sure. Some carrots. Um, let's see what else do we got in here. Um, some spinach, maybe? A bell pepper. Whoops. Bell pepper. Uh, grapes. And then, ugh, the apple's kind of annoying because it's a tree, but it's fine. You gotta have some apples. Oh my god, wiggly infant. Darius is a wiggly infant. These infants are always on the go and want to play and move about. However, they often struggle to fall asleep or pay attention for extended periods of time. Yeah, I think he's going to have ADHD someday. Um, just get ready. It's going to be a wild ride with that one. That's all I got to say. Um, we're going to have him come out here and plant all of these plants. And then he'll have to water them as well. He's going to be our gardener. He's going to have fresh fruits and veggies for all of the family. Um, let's come over here. So I think the most important thing for us to start with with Darius is we want to teach him how to sit up on his own. I think that's really important to start with. Um, I think that's going to be one of the milestones. Learn to reach. Lift head. Um, He was born. First smile. Oh, that's cute. He already had his first smile. And then learn to coo. Okay, so we have lots of things we have to teach him how to do. I honestly think the motor activities are definitely the ones we should focus on. So let's actually bring him inside. Okay, Let, let's bring him in. Bring him in. Let's bring him in the house. Let's stop standing outside. Let's get a move on, everybody. Time's a ticking. Oh my god, the Finchwick Fair can F off. Okay, no, 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 bro, we're gonna teach him something. N you can't just leave him like that. Oh my god, did he already poop himself? Did he? Did he poop himself already? Why does he look dirty? His clothes look dirty to me. I don't know why. Did he poop? D did you poop? Yo, did, bro, did, did you poop? <laughs> I don't know if he pooped or not. How do, how do I know? I haven't played with the infants yet. I don't know if he took a poop yet. 
Um, I don't think he pooped. Okay. Um, blow raspberry. What? Um, how do I teach him how to do things? How, how do I teach him how to like do stuff? It looks like practicing tummy time with Darius will eventually lead to lifting his head all on his own. <gasps> we have to practice tummy time. How do I practice tummy time? I'm going to put Darius here. Let's put him in. Oh, well, that, that's not his mother. Put Darius here. Do I have to put him in this thing to do tummy time? I don't know how to do any of this. Oh, is this... Is this... Maybe it has to be out in the open more? Is this... Is this... Is the Yo. Put Darius here, please. Can you listen to me for once in your life? Okay. We're gonna put him down here to play. Oh, I'm so excited. I I'm so excited for this. <gasps> is this tummy time? Is this considered tummy time? Yo, is it is this tummy time? Does anyone know? Well, he has to be on his tummy, right? How can I make him roll over? Um 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 Yo, can you go on your tummy? <gasps> tummy time together. Oh my god, that's freaking cute. Tummy time. Oh my god, I love tummy time. I even like tummy time for myself. <gasps> tummy time! Oh my god! I oh no! Honey! He's crying! No! Oh my god, I'm 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 abusing my child! Is this okay, guys? His his very first tummy time. Oh my god, he's getting the hang of it. Oh no! I don't like it! It's so sad. Oh my god, I don't like it. That's like watching us torture our own child, and I don't know how I feel about that. Whoever invented tummy time, you're a sicko. Okay, he's got to go pee. Well, he has a diaper, so anyways. Oh, look at these two striking up some co conversation. Oh my god, he looks so angry. He looks like he's like, yo, you need to get your act together, girl. He was like giving her some strict orders. He's a strict dad. Yo, yo, can you like- Oh my god, I officially- <gasps> oh, There's so much going on. This is our baby daddy, oh my god. Oh my god, he's actually calling us on his first day of college. How dare he? He goes to college and leaves us behind? What? It went away! I think I waited too long. Did he poop yet? How do I know when he's pooped? I'm really nervous for the first poop. Audrey abusing kids. Villainous teacher art confirmed. No, I'm not a villainous teacher. Let's have Sasha come play some tunes. Let's come have her sing a song to us. What song do you want to hear? Hush now, my love. No, tomorrow today is really good. It's like my favorite song of all time. Here we go. Here we go. There's like a baby screaming in the background. She's singing like an angel and the baby's just like This household is honestly crazy. Oh my god, he's angry. I don't know how to take care of the babies. Oh my god. She is angry. Sasha is angry for no good reason. Really. Perhaps due to the fact she can get away with a lot. No older family members are going to tell her not to be angry. Plus, authority is a sham. It's because her dad is very permissive with her. Um, because he kind of um, put a lot of his energy into her older sister. So he is kind of a bit more permissive with her. And she's kind of like, yo, I'll do whatever I want. I'll play the piano if I want to. So, yeah. Oh, he's sleeping. Oh, thank God he's sleeping. Oh, my God. Okay. How do I know when he reaches, like, good enough to lift his head? <gasps> She's painting. 
I heard there's a talent showcase going down the lounge. Let's go embarrass ourselves. This is the second time he has called me in an hour. Like, yo, why don't you come see your kid? Your kid wants to see you. Why don't you come visit us at the house? Why you got to keep calling me and ask me on a date? We have a kid together. If I go to the lounge, the baby's coming with, okay? No. Oh my gosh, this is really good. Look at her painting. I'm going to hang that one up. We're going to we're going to hang this one up. I like this one. Let's frame it and let's name it. Let's name it Forest. <laughs> Forest. <laughs> Very inspiring name. I know. Can I change the color of the frame? I can I kind of like it without the frame. Without the frame. That's the move. She already went painting on her own. I love that for Oh! <gasps> Congrats on landing that sweet job. I think this is going to be great for you. This is the third time our baby daddy has called. The third time. He's desperate. He's noticing that he made a mistake leaving her. He He's like his first day of college and he's like, yo, this shit sucks. I want to go back to my family. And she's a little bit, you know, mad at him. So, you know, he might not ever get to be back with his family. Yeah. I texted someone, but they didn't text back and it's been like an hour. Should I text them again? Oh, this is always such a hard question. I think it's stupid to be playing texting games with, like, a guy. Like, I I don't care if I quadruple text you. I don't. Like, literally, I don't care. I'm not, like, someone that's like, oh, my God, I can't text back right away. No, I'm texting you back within seconds. Not because I'm desperate. I'm just like that because I have ADHD and I'll forget to text you back. And I will quadruple text you. So if that's something that bothers you, then we can't be friends. Yeah, maybe they missed the first one. Text them right away. You never know. That increased her emotional control. So, yeah. Yeah, text them right away. Anywho. Um... I'm trying to think of what we could do right now. Bloop, 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 bloop. Did we, did he plant his stuff? Yo, uh, prom, yo, there's so much going, prom is starting? Ugh, guys, we weren't prepared for prom, okay? We don't have enough lore about Sasha at high school. We haven't even went to high school with her yet. So we're going to pretend that prom did not happen yet. We will send her to prom next time. Okay, right now we're skipping it. Just pretend this didn't show up. There was no prom, okay? There was no prom. Okay, water everything. He didn't water his plants. What an amateur. Okay. Yo, this is this is intense stuff. <clears throat> Honestly, like, for Wiggly Boy, he's, like, sleeping really well. He's like so cute. I love him. Oh my god, he's adorable. Love him. Love him, love him. Um, today's Saturday. Mercedes can't stop laughing. That joke Sasha just told her was way too good. After being dazzled by that marvelous bit of humor, Mercedes is thinking about jokes and how great they can be for a conversation. Does she like jokes? I, I think overall Miss Mercedes does like jokes, I would assume. So we'll just let her have that one. Her and her sister are like jokesters. Oh, they're so cute. I love sister energy. They're super close. I love that for them. In a way, I feel like I feel like Mercedes is kind of like a mom to Sasha since their mom passed away when they were younger. I feel like Mercedes has always been like a mom figure in kind of a, you know, a good way. Not like a bad way, like that's her mama, but you know what I'm saying. Mercedes Eckert has identified the Tetra, a new type of fish. Well, congratulations. Did we get a fish? Oh, I thought she went and bought a fish. I was going to be so upset. Should we get a fish right now? Oh, they got a sentiment. I'm glad you don't think my llama jokes are getting old. I feel like you just get me. Oh my gosh, that's super cute. 
That's they just get each other. They're like they're like soulmates, you know, like sister soulmates. Um, I'm gonna have her. What is she doing? She's painting again. Like guys, I'm telling you, she loves to paint. Like she's so excited on Monday. We're gonna have her start her freelance jobs. She's so excited to start her own like little startup art business. I think she's really gonna enjoy that. She loves painting. She loves it. I don't even have to tell her to do it. She just does it. How's our baby doing? He's hungry. Oh my god, the baby's hungry. Okay, let's, you know, duty calls. We're gonna stop painting for now. We're gonna feed him for the first time in a high chair. I'm really excited about this. Um, help try first baby food. There aren't any infants present that have completed the sit-up. You have to sit up first? Yo, that's intense. If I wake him up, is he going to be crabby? No, we're going to let him sleep. You never wake a sleeping baby. You don't do it. We're going to wait till he wakes up. Then we will feed him. I'm assuming he's only bottle fed then right now. So they have to sit up first to be fed baby food at a high chair. Apparently. I did not know that. They're watching some sitcom together. You know, dad and daughter things. Watching some Seinfeld, of course. That's honestly, my, my dad and I used to watch so much Seinfeld or Everybody Loves Raymond. That was like my two shows with my dad. <gasps> A quirk. Oh my gosh, guys, this is new. Infants have quirks. Um, quirk Reveal loves wake up time. Darius is frequently bright and sunny upon awakening. Infants with the loves wake up time quirk are more likely to be happy when they wake up. Oh, God bless. Oh, God bless. He's not going to be a crab when he wakes up. Each infant is different from the next and has three infant quirks that can be discovered over time. To read more about Darius's new quirk, visit the trait section in the Somology panel. Well, I want to read about it. This infant is often bright and sunny. Oh, we already read that. Well, he has three quirks. We've already discovered one. So I believe there's like 16 different quirks or something like that or eight different quirks. I can't remember. Um, but Love's wake up time is one of his quirks we just discovered. So that's really awesome. He woke up very playful. Like he's so playful. It says time for wiggles. Darius has a case of the wiggly wiggles. Gotta get moving. And then he also has awake and happy. Darius is awake and in a happy mood. Oh my gosh. That's so cute. Okay, let's have her come down since he woke up happy. We didn't wake him up and he's not crabby. Let's come down and bottle feed him since apparently we can't really feed him in a high chair until he can sit up yet. Um, we'll definitely start working on that um, for sure. Um, what should we have Mr. Grandpops do? Hmm. I don't know. He goes to work soon, doesn't he? I don't know. All right, we're going to feed him with a bottle. Oh, cutie. Oh, cute. Oh, he's adorable. Oh, his milkies. He loves his milkies. He's going to be milk drunk after this. You know how babies sometimes get like a little milk drunk? Who's walking outside my house? Somebody call Paw Patrol. There was somebody outside my house, and I don't know where she went. Yo, I have Paw Patrol on speed dial. You best not show up in front of my house. Aw, he ate. He's happy. He's happy. Happy baby. <gasps> oh, my gosh. We discovered another quirk, guys. What are the odds? Quirk revealed. Frequently hiccups. Oh my gosh, that's actually kind of cute. He hiccups frequently. Oh my god. Darius seems to hiccup quite frequently. Infants with the frequently hiccups quirk have more gas in their tummies and hiccup more frequently. So do we have to like burp him? I'm not really sure. That's kind of a cute quirk though. I want to hear him hiccup. Is he hiccuping? He is. Oh my gosh, that's cute. Did you guys see that? Oh my god, the hiccups are so cute, I could cry. Okay, let's do more tummy time, because I'm honestly, like, very interested to see him start to sit up and all of that. So, maybe... I don't... I don't think... Can we... 
can we do tummy time here? I think he has to be under this thing. Okay, um, let's... Let's put Darius here and do more tummy time. I don't know how often we have to do tummy time for him to gain skills. I have no clue how long it takes. I just really don't know. Oh, I can't do tummy time. Oh, it must be something you can only do like every once in a while, which would make sense. You don't want to do tummy time all the time. That would make sense. Yo, she's eaten some. What did she make? What is this? She made some ramen? Yo, I have headline effects off, which, you know, they kind of annoy me, but sometimes they're kind of useful. I just don't like the plum blobs above their head all the time. Oh my god, for some reason they have ramen. Is ramen something we can just grab from the fridge now? I guess I just never noticed. Did that come with Snowy Escape? Yo, that's not your toilet. Go use your own toilet. Okay. Um, I'm gonna have her finish this painting. Oh my god, she did finish it. This one's super pretty. I really like it, but I think we're gonna sell this one. Let's start making some money for ourselves. Because, you know, once we start selling things, you know, we can start saving money to move out and buy our own home eventually. Entrepreneur skill acquired. Mercedes has started building fledging entrepreneur skills through hustling to build this skill fame, but mostly fortune awaits. So she's going to be an entrepreneur. Um, it is Saturday in the game. We're not going to start any gigs until Monday. We're going to take two days just to like be with our family, kind of get into the family gameplay. And then on Monday, we'll start like career related stuff and even more like social stuff outside of the home. Um, today's just all about introducing the family in the home. Um, I was thinking since Derek keeps calling us, he really has been wanting to talk to us. Maybe... Because tomorrow's Sunday, um, he is going to come over for dinner. Let's have Derek over for dinner with our family. Um, so then he has a chance to see his son for a little bit. Um, so I'm going to just call him. And I don't know if I can make... Can I do this on the calendar or do, should I just call him and just pretend? <laughs> add a holiday, add event. We're not going to add a stay over quite yet. We don't really want him staying over. Um, could we add like a dinner? Baby shower, keg party, toddler play date, birthday party, black and white bash, slumber, mountain climb, wedding, spooky, incognito costume, family reunion, dinner party. We're going to host a dinner party. And we're just going to have <laughs> a dinner party and we're going to invite over. We're going to invite over Derek because he keeps calling and he's like, yo, he's like texting us like, yo, I want to come see Darius this week. It's my parental rights. I get to come see him once a week or whatever. So we're going to invite just Derek over oh, to required. Well, all of them are coming. OK, it's a dinner party with our family plus one person. I know such a huge dinner party. Um, and then caterer we're just gonna have cyrus do the cooking cyrus is gonna cook for him tomorrow he's not thrilled about it he's not derek's biggest fan okay because he got his daughter pregnant he's a little like yo dude um we're gonna have it at home so we're gonna have a little um dinner at home and let's have him over around let's do like i don't know let's do let's do like a midday like a three o'clock dinner um, and then he can hang out for a while. Invite all of the required roles to continue. Oh, a host. Mercedes is the host. Cool. All right, it's set. Tomorrow at 3 o'clock, we're having a dinner party. And Derek's going to come over for dinner. Um, so that'll be super um, fun. Um, hopefully he comes. Maybe he won't want to come. Maybe, maybe he's mad at us now because we're not calling him and texting him back right away. We don't really give him the time of day because he decided to go to college and he's not really given us the time of day. So you know what? But we are required to let him see Darius once a week. So we'll do a dinner party tomorrow. Um, Cyrus is, you know, not going to be super thrilled. As you can see, Cyrus dislikes Derek. He's not the biggest fan because of what happened. <laughs> so um, that ought to be some interesting interactions. Oh my gosh, this is super cute. The girls are just having a little campfire. 
on a summer evening. That sounds really nice right about now in the middle of winter. I think that's why I started playing in the summertime because I am so excited for summer. Oh, and the dad joined. Oh my god. Oh, she's like, yo, I'm out of here. This is too much social interactions for me. I can't socialize with more than one person at a time. Bye, guys. So, dad, um, Darius is going to come over for dinner tomorrow if you would like to barbecue. Do a summertime barbecue. I know you're not his biggest fan, but um, he's coming over. He has to come over once a week. So, it's just kind of how it is. Oh, fine. That's totally what his response would be. Fine. Oh my god, is she talking to him? Oh my gosh, let's have Sasha interact with him. I want to see her, her interact. She's going to come play peekaboo. Oh my god, come play peekaboo, please. Please, please, please. Please. Play peekaboo. What? Yo, you have to look at him. She's facing the wrong way. That's not how you play peekaboo. Get, get off the video games. Get off. Oh, <gasps> he has a stinky. He is, he's got a stinky. Oh my god. Well, it looks like Mercedes is awfully busy talking to dad. And look who is right by the stinky diaper. She's like, oh my god. Oh my god. I guess I gotta do my aunt duties and I gotta change the diaper. Oh god. All right, here she goes. All right. Here we go. How do we do this? <laughs> Can she do it? How do we change the diapy? Is it a dirty diaper? That looks like a dirty diaper to me. It looks like he just pooped. Or did he poop? Did he fart or did he poop? He stinks. He stank. He stank. He he does stink. Um, I I'm assuming he pooped. I can't tell. Okay, change Darius's diaper. Here we go. Auntie duties call. Time to be a good auntie. You're the one by the poopy diaper. So by default, you got to do it. I know it's not the most cool thing in the world. But, you know, if you're by the poop, you got to do it. You can't just ignore the poop. What? I wanted them to go to the changing table. She just put them in the air. Maybe he has to reach milestones to use the changing table. I don't freaking know. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, what? Can I have her kiss him? That would be so cute. Oh, she can do tummy time with him. What if we did? Let's put him back. Can she do tummy time with him? I want to keep doing tummy time. Who just spent $100? Who just spent $100? Oh, she's painting. Okay. Okay. Everybody calm down. I thought someone was spending our money doing some online shopping on Amazon. Can I do tummy time with him? Nope. Oh my god. He's he's freaking out. He's in the fetal position. Oh my god. He's like, bitch, why you put me down like that? You're supposed to do tummy time with me. Okay, tummy time. Here we go. Do tummy time with him. Oh my god, auntie. Oh. Oh my god. Is it going to be another meltdown? Oh my god. Another meltdown. Oh my god. Alright. It's 12.50. I think at 12.50 we gotta send them to bed. Okay. I'm gonna send Mr. Dad to bed. I also have to make sure our lights are on auto lights. Because I don't like wasting electricity. Okay. I really don't. We're gonna be savvy people. Um... I think it's almost time to call it a night for them and then we'll kind of have them sleep because Darius is getting tired. It is really late at night. We're going to have them finish tummy time and then we'll have mom come get him to go to bed. So they're going to finish tummy time. We'll send Ms. Sasha to bed and then she'll come get him and bring him to sleep in a minute here. Um, she might want to go have a quick snack maybe. It looks like her family just had ramen for dinner so maybe we'll... Just do some instant noodles as well because that's kind of what our family had for dinner. We didn't really have a family meal tonight, but tomorrow will be a family meal when our baby daddy comes over. I am really interested to see how that goes. That's going to be interesting. 
Oh my god, he's screaming his head off. Homie's pissed. He's like, yo, you guys left me in this room alone. He's gonna have to wait a little bit until we can eat. Because we gotta eat too. Um, he's doing just fine though. He, he's doing just fine. We just gotta get him to sleep. Um, our family's sleeping. You know, for moms, sometimes with a baby, you got some late nights. You don't get to eat till later. You don't get to sleep till later. That's just kind of how it goes. Just kind of how it goes. She's just like, oh my god, what have I done with my life? Well, at least this ramen's good. She's contemplating her moves for tomorrow. She's like, yo, I really don't want to see Derek, but... <sighs> I guess that's what happens when you get pregnant and have a baby with someone. Then you have to deal with them for the rest of your life. That's what she's thinking. <laughs> oh my god. Is that the diapy? Oh! Who just leaves a diapy like that? Bro, that's nasty. That's gross. And the bottle. Oh my god. We gotta start cleaning up. All right, he is sleeping. Oh, she's going to clean it up. I didn't even ask her. What a good mom. What? Bro, I was just complimenting you, and then you throw it on the floor. Yo, this mother. All right, I want to bring Darius to his crib. I wonder if we can, like, sing him to sleep or something. I don't really know. I haven't really played with infants a whole lot. So I'm, I'm excited. Does Darius have a birthday? Darius's birthday... So nobody has a birthday the whole summer. Darius has a summer birthday coming up. Nobody else will age up, though. Prom is every weekend? Prom is every weekend. Well, good thing. We're just going to do one prom. <laughs> one prom only. <laughs> Not every weekend. Taking out the trash. Taking out the trash. At night. Okay, it's time to get him to sleep. Unfortunately, we're going to have to go wake him up. I hope he doesn't get upset. Um, He is hungry. We should probably feed him. Oh my god, look at the big stretch. Stretch! Okay, we're going to have him... Um, We have to feed him. How do I... Um, Let's pick him up. Pick him up. Pick him up. We want to make sure he's happy when he goes to sleep so he's well fed. Um, I'm going to have her... We can breastfeed? I didn't know that. We can breastfeed the infants? Well, I suppose the babies can be breastfed. Oh, that's nice. I didn't know that. Cool. All right, we're going to feed him. And then I guess we'll just kind of send him to sleep, hunker down for the night, and then... Tomorrow we have dinner plans. That's going to be quite interesting. I'm intrigued. Um, we're going to come up here and put Darius to sleep here. Put him to sleep. Oh, she's burping him. That's so cute. He does get hiccups. So she's burping him. Cute. They're going off to sleep. So cute. Let's meet them upstairs. Ow. I have a pimple. I know this is TMI. Pimple on my head. It's so odd. Good night, little Darius. So cute. He's going to go in the crib. Go night night. Do we have to like sing him to sleep or something? Can we like um, soothe to sleep? That's what we want to do. Oh my god. She just kissed her finger and then kissed him with her finger. <gasps> oh my god, I'm gonna cry. This is the most cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. Is he gonna fall asleep? Wiggly boy, are you gonna sleep? I think he'll fall asleep. Right? No, you're not drinking coffee. She's like going to get coffee. Um, Kiss goodnight. Is that what I already saw? Kiss goodnight. Kiss goodnight. She kisses her finger and then puts it on his cheek. Okay, I'm going to have her go to sleep. I hope he falls asleep by himself. Oh, he's getting sleepy. He's stretching. 
Oh my god, he's so cute. I'm gonna cry. Like, this is so cute. This gives me baby fever. And I don't even really want my own kids, but this makes me want to have kids. All right, mom's sleeping. Baby's still awake. This is going to be interesting. Let's let's get a bird's eye view here. He's getting tired. He's he's trying to not to fall asleep. Oh, there he goes. He's asleep in. It's morning time. Who will be the first one awake? Grandpops is awake first, of course. Of course. He's got to do his morning pee. Oh my god, what is this? Become disliked by Derek. Cyrus wants to become disliked by Derek. Oh my god. I have a feeling our dinner party is going to go very, very, very wrong because that is already in Cyrus's head. He already dislikes the man. I think things are going to go very wrong. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. This is, this is destined for bad, bad things. This is not good. Not go Yo, um, I'm trying to pee here. He's going to pee himself. Like, no, we don't have time to talk. We don't have time to talk. Um, How about you make yourself useful, Sasha? And how about you make us breakfast? Um, We're going to serve breakfast. Um, We are going to have a dinner party later. So let's just do like eggs and toast. Something simple. Some eggs and toast for the whole family. Oh my God, she was pissed. Did you see her slam that? Why is she so tense? Puberty from experiencing puberty. Sasha has gotten her first taste of puberty. Things will only continue to change from here. Sasha can try to manage the puberty changes with shaving to avoid out of control body hair and skincare routine to help mitigate the inevitable acne. Oh my god. Poor girl. She's got her little nightcap on. She's making eggs and toast and she's going through puberty. Her arm hair. She is getting body hair. Oh my god. The body hair is growing. We're going to have to have her shave. She's flipping the eggs and toast. Yo, who is calling her? Bro, Derek was calling her like she's freaking sleeping. Like, yes, we get it. You're coming over later, but doesn't mean we'll want to talk right now. He keeps calling. He's persistent. He's persistent. Okay. <laughs> Eggs and toast is almost ready. Yep, serve it right in the microwave. Yeah, that makes good sense. Can I grab that? Okay. That's a little bit of a glitch, but that's okay. Is dad hungry? He is hungry. Let's have him come get eggs and toast. We're going to have dad grill today for our little dinner party at three. Um, he's going to grill. He's going to do a little summer barbecue, which he loves doing for his family, but not for Derek. He's, he's just not thrilled that he's coming over, but he understands like he has to. He has parental rights as well. So it just kind of sucks, you know? Oh my god, is that him again? Patrick Barnhart, have you been to the Black Spire outpost on Batu? Bro, we ain't going to Batu. Okay? No. This is not a Star Wars Let's Play. I cannot. We're not doing freaking Batu. Oh, baby's stretching, baby's awake. He's so cute. He's he's honestly pretty good, so we're gonna let mom sleep as long as she needs to. Baby's happy enough. He loves to wake up, so that's kind of a good quirk for him to have. Honestly, we kind of lucked out. Like hiccuping, loving to wake up, neither of those are too bad. We're gonna put the eggs and toast in the fridge. Mercedes can get some later. Um, oh my gosh, grandpa's gonna go watch the baby. I'm so excited. He's gonna interact with him. We didn't even ask him to. Aww, he's watching him. What about, how about Grandpa come and get him up? Everyone's watching the baby. Oh, she's going to grab him. What a good auntie. What a good auntie. She loves him. She's going to cuddle him. Oh my God, that's so cute. I want to see this. Oh, she decided not to. It's the hormones. It's the hormones. She said, I want to cuddle you. No, I don't. I changed my mind in a split second. It's the hormones. Um, let's have Grandpa pick him up. 
Maybe we'll have Grandpa interact with him. He's hungry. Let's have Grandpa feed him a, a bottle. Um, since Mom's sleeping, she can't breastfeed him right now. But we can we can feed him a bottle, right? Apparently not. Oh, they're talking with the baby. Aw, Grandpa secretly, like, he's so upset that she got pregnant in high school, but also, like, he loves this baby. You can tell. He, like, just wants the best for him. Like, he's strict with him because he cares about him. Um, let's have bottle feed him. We're gonna bottle feed him. And then maybe Grandpa will do tummy time with you this morning since Mom is being a little bit lazy, which is fine. She's a, a hardworking mother. Let's have Grandpa do tummy time with him. We got to keep doing tummy time. I really want Darius to start moving more than he already is. <laughs> Aw, I love this little elephant pajama set. It's so cute. Oh my god god he hiccuped did you see the bubbles oh my god that's the cutest thing oh the hiccups are cute um let's have her oh our our um dinner party starts in a few hours which i'm not too concerned about um we'll just kind of go with the flow um maybe we'll have everybody put on some clothes though some nice clothes um maybe some outdoorsy clothes um Let's have him. Can he do tummy time with him? He can't do tummy time with him? Tummy time, yes. Tummy time with grandpa. This is adorable. I love tummy time already. This is so cute. Oh, no. It's a little bit of crying, but he's getting better. He's doing the thing. He's going to be up in no time. He's lifting his head. He lifted his head on his own. <gasps> yes! We did it, you guys. Lift head milestone unlocked. What's that over there? Darius just lifted his head for the first time. There's so much to look at. Have caregivers practice tummy time together to unlock new milestones that will help Darius see the world in more ways than he can imagine. Oh, my God. He did it. So if we go to our milestones, um, look at in gross motor, he lifted his head. The next step will roll over to back, which we still acquire with tummy time. Oh my gosh, he can lift his head. I'm so proud of him. I'm so proud. I'm a proud mother. Um, learn to reach. We need to play with them. Okay, how do we play? Can we play with him? Play peekaboo. Play peekaboo with him right now. I want to see this. Peekaboo. Can you play peekaboo? What? Why can they only play peekaboo from this chair? Bro, what is this? Bro. That ain't no... That ain't fun. Play with Darius. Let's see what this does. Play with Darius. Is that your definition of playing with him? Why are you crying? Calm down. Okay, he's going to come play with him. <gasps> Aww. This is going to have him learn how to reach, apparently, by playing with him. So cute. I love that. <gasps> Another milestone coup. Ooh, ah, Darius might not be able to talk, but cooing sounds are a great step in verbal communication. Have him socialize with other sims or a stuffed animal to practice more. Oh my god, and they got a sentiment. You're so fun to be around. I really enjoyed spending time with you, and I hope you feel that way about me too. He's starting to really love this baby, even though he was kind of disappointed at first, but he loves this baby. Grandpa loves the baby. Okay, so we're gaining lots of milestones. The next milestone will be learn to laugh, which is so cute. I'm so excited for that. That's going to be adorable. We have to have him learn how to reach, though. So we got to keep playing with him. For now, we're going to leave him to lay there for a little bit. Grandpa is going to go check on his garden, I think. I think, actually, maybe the garden's good. The garden's good. Um, I'm going to have everybody quickly change... Derek should be here in a couple hours. 
Um, so let's change into our hot weather outfits. It's supposed to be a scorcher out there today. Um, so let's change into hot weather gear for the barbecue. It's supposed to be really hot today, but it's supposed to be cloudy. But we'll still put on some hot weather outfits. Um, let's see here. Where's your clothes, girlfriend? Let's put on your hot weather outfits. Everyone get in your hot weather outfits. Perfect. Everyone's going to be dressed for the occasion. Oh my gosh, she's tense once again. Well, how about, since she's feeling really tense, she's going through puberty, you know, it's kind of a strange time for everyone. Um, let's have her go ahead and just, like, play the piano for a little bit. Um, let's have her, she's going to play with emotion. Take out all those emotions on the piano, girlfriend. Do it. Take out all those emotions. Oh my god. He's watching the kids' channel. That's so cute. She's playing with her emotions, with her body hair growing on her arms. <laughs> Honestly, body hair is like super normal on arms. Like, I have a lot of hair on my arms, and I'm not ashamed of it. Arms are just not something you really shave, you know? Like, I do have quite a bit of hair on my arms. It's just kind of genetics. Like, my whole family has, like, a, quite a bit of hair on their arms. I don't see anything wrong with that. All right. We have approximately an hour and a half until Derek comes over for the barbecue. Um, I don't know what we're going to barbecue, but... Oh my gosh, he's on the rocking chair. I love this man. This man is everything to me. He's the cutest little grandpa. I love him. I just love him so much. All right, guys. I know you don't like Derek, but he's coming over to visit our child. We all need to be on our best behavior. Do you hear that, Dad? Oh, yeah. You know me. I'm always on my best behavior. Are you sure about that, Dad? They're having like a little pre-meeting. They're making the game plan on how everyone's going to behave during this meal. He will be here in about one hour, you guys. One hour. And I, I would assume Darius is probably excited to see his dad. The dinner party. Yay. The dinner party is starting. Da, ba, da, ba, da, da. I'm gonna inv uh, we'll wait till three I don't know if I it's gonna work that he shows up we'll wait and see Papa gonna beat up Derek I, I don't know I don't know if our dad's the type to beat someone up but I think the conversation will really come up I think it'll come up and I think we're gonna have dad greet him at the door okay we're gonna have him greet him at the door we're gonna have him set the scene for this day We're going to have Pop set the scene. Dad, please, when he comes over, just give him the benefit of the doubt. I know that you're not looking forward to it. Okay, dinner party's about to begin. Let's start. Yay. Now, I don't know if Derek is just going to show up on his own. Oh, everyone's getting on their party gear. Okay. I see where this is headed. Oh, Derek's here. Oh, my God. And there he is, you guys, in the flesh. This is Derek Brown, the father of Darius, who had a teenage pregnancy with Mercedes. Um, he's a little bit nervous, you can see. He, he's a little bit nervous to show up because last time he was here, he got in quite the argument with Mr. Cyrus, Mr. Grandpa, Mr. Dad. Um... So we're gonna we're gonna have Cyrus come actually invite him in, um, cause this is Cyrus's home. Um, he he should be the one to invite him in. Um, let's have him go ahead and let's go. Um, let's just go say hello, maybe. <laughs> should we complain? <laughs> 
No, let's, um, hmm. You know what? He's going to go talk to him and be like, yo, Derek, I'm going to give you a life lesson on hard work. Which should be something you should be applying to as a father of your child. Hard work and dedication. What? Come, why isn't this working? I want to have a deep combo. <laughs> give him a life lesson, damn it. All right, here we are. The first seeing each other in a while. Hi, welcome to my house, Derek. I hope college is going well. Um, come on in. Uh, make sure that you keep working hard, sir. You have a child to support. Don't ever forget, you have a child to support here. All right, we're gonna have we're gonna have Dad go over here, and we're gonna have him start barbecuing. He's gonna grill some. Hmm, what should we grill today? Let's do some hamburgers. I feel like everybody loves hamburgers. Derek's about to tell his boo he got another woman pregnant in college and start a lifelong basketball rivalry between the two kids. <gasps> One tree hill. That would be such an epic storyline. All right, I am actually rewatching One Tree Hill right now. I'm on season two. I just finished watching season one. All right, he's enough chatting, enough chatting. Enough chatting. Let's go grill some hamburgers. I don't know what Mercedes is doing, but she needs to go greet him. Girl, you're not the chef today. Put this away. Oh, my God. I love how everyone just starts cooking. Like, bro, you're not the chef. You need to be over here. Um, let's go pick up. Um, let's go pick up Darius. Can he not come in? Um, we're gonna go talk about marriage. Girl, you better not. No. Okay, let's go pick up Darius and bring him with us so he can see his dad. Um, I don't know why Derek's not coming in. Um, maybe he's not comfortable. Let's go, um... No, bring him with, bro. Pick him up. I hate when Sims don't listen. Pick him up. You're gonna bring him with. Um, let's, um, hand Darius to Derek. Okay, let's go do it. This is your son. I don't know if you remember since you've been off at college frolicking with other women i'm sure but this is your son just so you're aware he's still here so you still have a responsibility oh my god that was actually kind of cute oh my gosh dad has the baby <gasps> oh my god this was perfect timing this was perfect timing we handed him the baby and he crapped his pants now this is a true testament to fatherhood is he meant to be a father to his son let's see if he changes the diaper we're going to run away very quickly we just handed him the baby and we're gonna run we're gonna run so fast we're just we're gonna go over here we're just gonna go like we're just gonna go over here and uh talk to our sister yeah let's just go tell her a story we run away really quick we're testing him we're testing him oh oh Oh, 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 oh. He's like, hey, daddy. <laughs> he really said that. He really said, hey, daddy, you haven't seen me in about a week. And then he pooped. What is he going to do? What is he going to do? Oh, my God. What is he going to do? What is he going to do? Oh, my God. He's filthy. He pooped all over his dad. He pooped on his dad. Oh, my God. He pooped on him. He's happy about it, though. He didn't change his diaper. Oh, my God. Why are you taking a bath? Bro. He's like, I'm taking a bath, so then Derek can't. I don't want him to be smelling nice. Okay, this is the worst dinner party ever. We need to get this thing going. Okay, we're going to call the guests to a meal. Call to meal. Everybody's going to come eat a hamburger. Everybody come get one. Everybody. Yeah, you know what? I'm honestly really disappointed in Derek. I'm He just went and grabbed a hamburger, and his son smells like absolute booty hole over there. He smells like absolute poop. He's trembling, 
and his dad is sitting here eating a hamburger while he smells like poop over there. It's just not really, you know, the type of dad we're really looking for. And honestly, if he keeps this up, like, Mercedes isn't going to want anything to do with him. Um, we still know Derek still loves Mercedes. He still wants to be with her. We just don't know if he wants a family, honestly. He kind of left and went to college, so we just don't really know exactly what he wants. Um, but Mercedes is a really good mom, so she's going to come over here and take care of her baby before she even feeds herself because that's the kind of mother she is. Um, let's have her come over here and um, change his diaper, of course. And then she's going to feed him because that's what good parents do. They put their kids before themselves. Unlike this guy right here eating a Whopper Jr. Honestly, I can't believe this. <laughs> Not my problem and laid the shitty baby down. <laughs> All right. Um, we need to change it. Um, let's... F okay, we we're going to worry about the diapy first. Um, let's go ahead and change Darius's diaper because we're a good parent and we actually take care of our child. Um, let's go ahead and do that. Change his diaper. Oh, she's actually going to go to the changing table. I'm so excited. We haven't seen this yet. We haven't seen this yet. All right. Here's where it all goes down. Cyrus out of the corner of his peripheral vision. He sees Mercedes taking the stinky kid up to the changing table. And this whole time, he thought, oh my god, Derek's actually doing something. He's going to go change his diaper. And then he realizes Derek never actually changed the diaper. He's making Mercedes do it. And this ignites a fire inside of Cyrus. He's going to go confront him. He's going to go talk to him because why is this man in his house snacking on a Whopper Jr. now instead of doing his roles as a dad? He's highly disappointed. He's going to confront him. He honestly right now doesn't care what Mercedes thinks. He's going to confront him while she's changing the diaper. So he's going to come over here and he's going to go yell at him. He doesn't care. He's going to yell at him. He's coming. He's confident. This is his home. He's going to kick him out. Here we go. It's happening. How dare you come into my home to visit your son and you're just here for the food. I know college is expensive, but you don't just come to me for free food. Oh my god, and then he ignores him and starts texting his new girlfriend. Oh my god, I can't do this. He needs to get out of this house. Nope, we are kicking him out. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna give him one last word. We're gonna tell him he needs to shape up if he's gonna be in this baby's life. Otherwise, we're gonna make sure he never sees this baby ever again. We're gonna argue and we're going to argue about parenting. You're not being a good enough father, so you need to get out of this house if you want anything to do with your son. It's time for you to go. And he smells like absolute poop, so that's what he gets. Get out of my house. You're not a good father. You can't just ignore your fatherly duties and come eat my food. Get out. And that's how we're going to leave those two today. We're going to, we're going to, how do we send him home? How do we get him out of here? Um, can we send him home? <laughs> can we, can we, can we send him home? <laughs> you know what? As far as I'm concerned, this dinner party is over. It's over. I don't even care if we got a bronze medal. It's over. His evil side is coming out. He is not fit to be a good father. We're going to make sure that he never has parental rights to our grandson. Because we secretly love him a lot. <laughs> Super villain origin story for grandpa. Oh my god. Okay, we're going to save the fighting for another time. Um, I, I don't feel right about us fighting him. Okay, can I ask him um, to leave? How do I forget how to do that. 
I don't remember. Can you get the fuck out? I don't know how to ask him to leave. I forgot. Hmm. Well, anyways, Papa's got to pee. Is she still changing the poop? Bro, why is nobody changing this poopy? Bro, I hate bugs in this game. Is the changing table bugged? Does it, like, not work? Okay, we need to, you know... Okay, first I'm going to save in case this crashes. Because we got a good storyline going. You left my grandson caked in shit and didn't even tell anyone he needed to be changed. And then Grandpa throws a punch. <laughs> no. We're going to save the fighting for later. Honestly, I think for Grandpa, um, I think for Cyrus. Cyrus is overall a really good guy. Um, he's a good guy. He would not fight anyone. I think it's going to take a lot for him to fight Derek. Like something really bad that Derek does that would make him want to fight him. And Derek or Cyrus is an elder. So I don't know if he'd win in a fight. Um, I'm going to reset Mercedes. <laughs> reset Sim. Mercedes Eckert. Okay. We reset her. Um, the dinner party is over. That was such an interesting way to end our dinner party um mercedes actually um mercedes doesn't know what just happened yet um sasha actually came up here to tell her like yo i know you're busy with darius but dad just kicked him out mercedes and was fighting with him because he wouldn't change the diaper so mercedes is getting told by her sister what just happened um we really need to help this kid <laughs> Um, he's poopy. Is he still poopy? Oh my god, he's not doing well. Okay, we're horrible parents. Um, let's just go ahead and give him a bottle quick. Maybe, oh no, no, we want Mercedes. Mercedes is going to, um, pick him up. We're gonna feed him, and then how about we give him a bubble bath? I think that would be best, because he's really stinky. Since his, his dad left him in a dirty diaper for quite a while, so he kind of needs a bath at this point. Um, he, he just needs a bath. Um, let's uh, quickly... Can I please feed him? I don't understand. Sometimes it lets me feed him, sometimes it doesn't. Um, let's get fed by mom. Is that going to work? Okay, we're feeding him. Honestly, we still didn't get to enjoy our hamburger. I'm pretty sure Derek is the only one that got to enjoy a hamburger. And the family that lives here didn't even get to eat yet. How ridiculous. All right, Sasha, I love you, but girl, you need to go do something. Let's have her go just jam out, play with emotion, because that's kind of what she does. She plays with emotion because she's a teenager. We're feeding him, and then we really need to... We really need to give this poor guy a bath. Oh, my God. It's bad. Oh, I, I get the sisters mixed up a lot. Okay, let's um give Darius a bubble bath. He's really stinky because his dad neglected him. Imagine that. Um, Cyrus feels really bad that it had to end that way. So he's going to come and do some cleaning for Mercedes. He doesn't want her to do it alone. Um, he's going to come help her out a little bit. So, yeah, that's that. We're going to put all the hamburgers in the fridge because we didn't really get to it. So, yeah. <sighs> he's doing it because he loves his daughter and he's starting to love the baby. Oh my god, this is adorable bath time this is so cute squeak the ducky oh that's so precious what a good mom and she's doing it by herself with some help from her family but she's great she's doing it by herself oh my gosh oh my gosh he came to watch he's laughing he's so proud of his daughter even though this isn't the life path he wanted for his daughter he's still really proud of her Oh my god, his back cracked. <laughs> Alright. I'm going to start to get ready to send everybody to sleep because tomorrow will be Monday and that will be the start of the work week. And 
the start of her career, the start of going to high school. So that'll be really exciting. Um, we're going to get everyone to sleepy deepy. And that'll be pretty exciting. I think that'll be a really good spot to pick up next time. So we might end our gameplay here for the day. Um, I'm going to put Sasha to sleep. She's giving him a bath. Splish splash. He's really tired. We got to get him to sleep. I can't believe he walked out of here with poopy clothes. That was too good. Oh, we have a fish. We have a fish. I'm going to put that on his wall. It's a fish. Okay. He's sleeping. She's sleeping. Now we just got to get mom and baby to sleep. Mom and baby. Bath time is so cute. Aww. <gasps> first bubble bath milestone. Bubbles everywhere. Darius had a blast after his first bubble bath. First bath milestone. Spick and span. Nothing's better than a clean, happy Darius after his first bath. That is freaking cute. Okay, we're going to go ahead and put Darius to bed. Super cute, super cute. I feel like we did a lot of milestones for him today. I feel like we're doing quite well with him. We're going to put him to sleep. He is very tired. He's probably going to go to sleep right away. And then let's go ahead and put Mercedes to bed as well. She, of course, kissed him goodnight. He is actually not too happy. Um, But, oh well. Um... I think we're going to end our gameplay here today. He is so cute. I love him. I hope you guys enjoyed today's gameplay. A lot happened. Truly, a lot happened. Um, I'm so excited to play more with this family. It really feels like a TV series. It really does. And we have like all these characters and side characters. I love it. But I, I definitely am really liking my Sims. And I'm excited to play with them more. Um, I'm excited. <clears throat> I'm going to save my game, of course. I don't want to lose progress on that amazing gameplay today. <laughs> All right. Um, Derry, Derek. Okay. Oh, by the way, Dar Darius is named after Derek. Darius, Dare, Derek, Darius. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm going to exit the game and save. That was so fun. I loved that. Okay. All right, I'm going to close it, close, okay, I honestly haven't had that much fun playing The Sims in a really long time. I think this is the perfect expansion pack for me. I'm really going to enjoy playing this family. We're going to keep playing them. Um, I'm so excited to play more and see kind of where this family goes and see what kind of happens with Derek next and what happens. Um, is Mercedes going to get back together with him? Will she give him the benefit of the doubt or is she going to finally move on? I don't know. We're just going to see where it goes. But after that dinner party, I don't, I'm not too confident that they're going to be back together because Cyrus pretty much kind of gave him the what for. So I hope you guys enjoyed our first day of growing together gameplay we're gonna play more soon um tomorrow i'm planning on playing hogwarts legacy which is actually like i'm excited to play it but also i loved playing the sims today and i want to play more tomorrow but i think tomorrow we've been neglecting hogwarts legacy um so we're going to uh, um play hogwarts legacy tomorrow and then I was thinking Sunday, Sunday, we play more Sims and we continue with that family. We could either continue with this family on Sunday or do more 100 baby challenge. But I'm really feeling this family. The family dynamics are great. Um, but anyways, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time, which is tomorrow. Yeah. Hogwarts. I'm looking really pale. I, I'm just ghostly pale. I think I'm ready for summer. Uh, all right. Bye.